Even though masks are mandatory in New Mexico, you can still spot people out in public without them. We asked thousands of people how they feel about the fine that could come with not wearing a mask and if they would confront someone for not wearing one. News 13's Francesca Washington is here with the results of the KRQE survey. Now that there is a fine involved, majority of people said they're more likely to wear a mask and most people want to avoid any type of confrontation. But my family has been working essentially for the, fa for the past 15 weeks while everyone has been able to be safe at home. Paldrell's Barbecue has been in business in Albuquerque for 60 years, but during the pandemic, they've had a handful of disturbing experiences. We've had a customer come in. He was wearing a homemade uh, mask out of a Confederate flag, and uh, he came in several times when we asked him not to until we had to refuse him business, and then he came in wearing the proper mask. Kat Paldrell says confronting people for wearing an offensive mask or not wearing one at all puts her family's safety at risk. There are a minute few, maybe 10%, that come into the restaurant, and they are more interested in their right to not have to wear one instead of our right to remain safe. We asked people in a KRQE online survey if they were worried about violence, if they would confront someone not wearing a mask. What keeps you from confronting people that are not wearing masks? Getting shot. Nearly 6,000 people responded and 55% of them said yes. We don't need more confrontation, but uh, I mean, I might call 311 if it was really flagrant or if it was a, a store where the employees weren't doing it. We also asked people if they would be more likely to wear a mask now that a $100 fine is being enforced. I think the government is, is way overboard with that. I think it should be more, frankly. 65% say they would always wear a mask. I just don't understand people's um, reluctance to wear one. I mean, it's in all of our best interests and it's the law. We also asked people if they thought there should be a fine for not wearing masks. 55% of people said yes. Back to you. Okay, thank you, Francesca. And when it comes to social distancing, most people we surveyed say they are tired of social distancing.